Hello and welcome to Florida Fishy Finger, my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to look at the second boat in my series of micro skiffs. And this boat is made by a manufacturer of skiffs in eastern central Florida that is well respected. Uh, and that is East Cape Boats. And if you've ever been to the East Cape Boat website or to uh, seen their boats, you know that, um, yeah, they build speed machines. They really are, you know, well-built, very functional craft. Um, any one of these boats would very easily fit into my dream boat category. Uh, if these boats don't appeal to you, we probably will have a difficult time being friends. This is, it would be hard for me to understand. Wow, look at that. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about here. I have a boat similar to this, but not as heavy horsepower, certainly not as high performance as this, uh, called a Shadowcast in Ancona. A lot of good boat manufacturers in Central Florida, in Florida in general. I'm grateful for that. But let's take a look at this Scanu, which is kind of a cross hybrid. Uh, they call these kayak skiff hybrids. Some people call it a SUP kayak hybrid, a SUP skiff hybrid. But it, they are bizarre. They're very novel. And uh, as you can see, I like this picture of the guy sitting in the back. You know, I always like to see what adults look like in these boats. Look at that one. I oh, got a nice jack. Sweet. Yeah. You know, to see what these boats actually look like in the water. Now, my purpose would be to bring it out into the ocean. And I think it would actually function quite well for that kind of thing. You can see people rig them in all kinds of ways. I'm not sure if it has a self-bailing hull or not, but I'm sure you could find out. I actually contacted... Uh, East Cape Skiffs, and I'm going to be going over there in October to chat as I consider, you know, which skiff to get and then base my new series on where I'm going to be fishing this in the ocean off the beach where I live. And you can see that it's quite easy to transport elsewhere. This is the kind of boat I think two people could horse over a walkway, no problem. And, uh, it's very appealing to me. I like the rolled gunnel part. That's really nice. I like that, that it has higher sides. It has that elevated platform up in the front, which is really cool. If you get that that elevated platform that you kind of attach to the, that front elevated deck, you get up there pretty high. This would be a fishing machine without any doubt. Uh, I, I notice that there seems to be some kind of uh, design evolution in these, which is really interesting to me. I'm sure it will evolve. I can't imagine that these would do anything but just be the most popular thing ever. <laughs> uh, there is a SKNU website now, but it looks like uh, there's not much there yet, but it just kind of shows pictures. looks almost like CAD drawings of the boat hulls. Um, so I would check back for more information there. But in the meantime, uh, you know, the mystery of the Skanu, the allure and the, quite frankly, the attraction of the Skanu is hard to deny. I mean, look at that. Who wouldn't want to do that? You know, you can drop this thing right in the back of your pickup truck, in the back of your SUV, I would imagine. This is my plan, at least. And uh, easily horse it out and um, into a river, you know, to have a situation like he has there. If you're trying to get it over a beach access, well, that's a little bit more involved but still doable with the right amount of people involved uh, I like that picture right there because that's a typical scenario you just kind of stocking up on things you could actually probably pull with that paddle there so hey let me know in the comments what you think of the Skanu and uh, if you have any experience with one I guess there's some out there I saw one used on a on a couple of these skiff websites and and I'm under the impression that a big production run of these are on the way. But I guess I'll find out more when I talk to the owner uh, later this year. 
So let us know what you think. Let us know what your experience with micro skiffs has been. And don't forget to subscribe to Florida Fishy Finger so you'll be part of this journey. We have eight more micro skiffs that I'll be reviewing, and they're all contained in a playlist on the channel. Thanks for watching. Tight lines.